everybody, Joel Hansen here. We were literally sitting outside a restaurant waiting for them to unlock the door so we can go in and do a challenge. So we are at the Canadian Brew House. Uh, this is kind of a last minute thing we're gonna fit in before I gotta go to the airport. But we're here to do the Rita Challenge, rumored to be named after Rita McNeil, who's a famous Canadian singer. So for this challenge, it is three pounds of beef plus all your fixings, your toppings, then your buns, etc. So about three and a half pound burger plus about a pound and a half of poutine, you figure? Yeah, about that. Yeah, so yeah. Scott's done this before, but today we're actually going to do not just one of these challenges, somehow I agreed to do two of these challenges. So this is gonna be literally like 10 pounds plus each. It's gonna be a freaking lot of food. Um, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna have one hour to eat said challenge. If not, it's about $50 if you fail. Again, about a five pound challenge. They have many, multiple locations all across uh, British Columbia and Alberta, I'm not sure where else. And this uh, challenge is available all across the chains. So it should be pretty good. Um, it is literally like 9.50 a.m. Oh, they are going to unlock there the door. Hold on, look at this. They just unlocked the door. Can you see her? Can you see her? There she is. There she is. All right. So it is, it, it is official. We are about to go do these challenges. <laughs> Wish us luck. This has been a big, big, big trip, which has been excellent, but I still feel like I might sh myself. <laughs> so let's go in, hope that doesn't happen, and let's have a lot of fun. Well, hopefully. Hi everyone, so here we are, we're about to start. Um, Scott got his timer. We have now two burger challenges, so this will be interesting. So yeah, I mean, as they say, YOLO, I guess that's all you can do. Two massive sides of poutine as well. That's it, so wish us luck, and uh, Scott, am I be ready? Let's count us down, let's do from 10. This, I, need, I need 10 seconds to prepare myself. 10, this is a big one, yeah. Double the challenge, double the time, right? Oh, jeez. There we go. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, begin. Yeah, we're going. All right, one hour. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at the Canadian Brew House, which is a chain restaurant in Western Canada. I know specifically in British Columbia, in Alberta, and I think maybe also in Saskatchewan and maybe a few other places, but at least in Western Canada. There's many, many locations. In fact, in Alberta and BC, they're absolutely everywhere. Lots of cheese on it too. So this challenge is available at all their locations at any time, it's just a standard menu item in which if you eat the three-ish, it's like three and a half pound burger plus the pound and a half of poutine, again between five and five and a half pounds total, uh, in 60 minutes you get it for free. If not, it's 45 bucks as we mentioned, so Scott and I took it upon ourselves to try and eat two of them. So each of us have $90 worth of food. Um, I mean, this is my first time at the Canadian Brew House, as I've never actually been to this restaurant, but Scott had been before, um, and he has done this challenge before. And in fact, he had the uh, record for the burger challenge, but just a single one, he's never done twice before. Uh, what we found, what I found, and Scott did warn me, is, like I said, it is a chain, and let's just say this chain, like, you can see they're by their burger patties, they aren't, like, they're not real burger patties, like, they aren't fresh meat, they're like frozen, you know, pre-made patties, blah, blah, blah. So that's really the only kind of, you know, caveat or anything I think worth mentioning. Um, you know, as again, I mean, it was it was fine. It was pretty good for what it was. Um, if you like cheese, there's lots of cheese on there. In fact, I think there's a slice of orange and a slice of white cheese for every burger patty. So you're probably looking at like 12 pieces of cheese on there. Not to mention the bacon and barbecue sauce and everything else. Um, but you know, again, overall, it's not a bad challenge. Again, sitting at five pounds, it's at that rate where quite a few people can do it, but still you're getting a lot, a lot of failures at that. Um, you also do get a t-shirt if you complete the challenge. So, you know, of course, we were also attempting, I guess, to get the t-shirt. And like I said, it had never been completed, um, like doubled like this. No person has ever eaten two of them at the same time, so that's what we set out to do. 
Um, besides that, a common question is what is poutine? So poutine, which are in the dishes, poutine is french fries with gravy and then cheese curds. Uh, it is a Canadian dish and this is called the Canadian brew house. So I've found it's very suiting to have a poutine in the challenge, plus there's little Canadian flags in the burgers themselves. And then the challenge, which is called the Rita challenge, I believe it actually used to be called the Rita McNeil challenge, and then after some kind of a lawsuit or some kind of something, they changed the name. Um, if you're interested, Rita McNeil is a Canadian singer, kind of like, I don't know what we call it, maybe folky-ish. But anyway, somebody at some sort obviously decided that it wasn't suitable to either be named the Rita McNeil or maybe Rita McNeil herself and decided she didn't want the burger challenge named after her. Um, so with that, I think that's pretty much all the information. So I'll let you get to this. Again, this is me and Scott doubling up this challenge. Never been done before. We're looking at 10 plus pounds of food. So while you tune on in, hope you enjoy the video and hopefully we can get some wins, at least win one of them each. So probably about three and a half minutes in, got my one burger done, see the other ones, the two poutines. Scott's basically the same time, the same spot. I'll keep your record for the challenge. No. Five minutes in, I got a little bit of my burger, the first one to go, poutine from the other burger, but Joel Skelly and I, as usual, he's finished the first burger, on to the second one, so we'll just tip away at this. We only have 55 minutes left. Nine minutes in, I feel like I'm gonna sh myself, but that's okay. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen. Almost down all the burgers. I still got two poutines and about four patties left and a little bit of a bun. Joel's done his burgers, as usual, kick ass. I just got the two poutines left. It's going for the Canadian Brew House two redid challenge record right now. Apparently it's never been done.
about 15 and a half minutes in, just got poutine left. And uh, that's about it. Looks really good. Scott's killing it. And his camera shut off, so I can turn that back on. Everybody, soon to be the last bites. Nobody's ever done this before. Two Rita challenges. Thank you, Rita McNeil. eating 10 pounds of burgers at 10 a.m. Scott just finished up his protein. He's absolutely killing it. Yeah, no complaints. No complaints. That was a lot of food. And I, and I still don't like cheese, but it's all right. It's good. There you go. Scott will be done that in a minute. It's fresh. One bowl up. <laughs> yeah, one bowl. such a good dancer because in his spare time while he's waiting for me to finish, he dances so he has lots of practice. <laughs> we'll go with that, we'll go with that. under 24 for Scott. I don't really remember what I had myself. Uh, maybe 1920. I really don't remember. Well, but, no, it wasn't that good. <laughs> so that everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, really appreciate your support, your viewership. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. Definitely check out Scott's channel as well. So yeah, double the read challenges, 10 pounds of burgers at 10 a.m. That was a lot, but hey, it was good. Great staff. No complaints. So when you're in Alberta, you just gotta go big or go home. I love Alberta beef. So everybody, until next time, say happy, I'll be hungry. Of course, happy eating, go do what we do, and enjoy your life. <laughs> so, thanks for joining us. Joel, any last words? If you stop by, tell them you saw the video of those two crazy guys that came in and ate way too much food. I'm sure they'll have a laugh. But uh, at that, everybody, so glad to have this big trip with Scott. It was a lot of fun. Until next time, you know what to do. Stay happy, healthy, hungry. That's right. That's right. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Join us next time. We're out.
So this is Galaxy Land. This is the amusement park, which is inside of West Edmonton Mall. Obviously, unfortunately, it's closed due to the whole pandemic situation, but I really wish it was open because I would love to go there for old time's sake. Last time I was there was very, I was very little and I was there for my birthday. And then they also have a water park here in West Edmonton Mall, which is massive and really good quality for what it is. Again, I would go if it was open, but pandemic, but Galaxy Land, I forgot all about it. Crazy, this mall. And then what I also forgot about is there's a freaking ice rink in the mall here. So here's a big ice rink just in the middle of the mall. And look, they have these lit fake trees and stuff. And I remember there used to be an EB Games right by this thing and I used to go there as a kid, but this is crazy. Like an ice rink in a mall, it just goes how big this thing is. It's the size of 20 something football fields or something. It's, it's pretty crazy. So pretty cool to see all this stuff again. It's been a long time coming. So this is what they're calling Bourbon Street. It's obviously like very well decorated. There's Scott, decorated, lit up. Pretty cool. It's a, they have definitely kind of a multicultural dynamic going on by section by section here in the mall. So West Edmonton Mall, definitely a thing you need to check out when you're in Edmonton and or Alberta. And here's the water park. <laughs> Whoa, that zoomed in on my face. But anyway, so that's the water park. Obviously, it's closed down because of the whole situation, but I was here as a kid. Definitely went in this big wave pool. Again, yes, this is all in a mall. They have this little mock beach. Here, they you can buy like drinks, and I remember buying gummies as a kid, like candies. Then, obviously, they have a large variety of water slides. And honestly, it's a very impressive amusement park for, or like water park, because it's in a mall. It's very impressive. It's very high quality. So, again, I wish that was open. I would do it. And they used to have a bungee cord, but apparently, they got rid of it for safety reasons. Of course, so I guess I'll never be able to do that, but it uh, looks fun. And I will be there one day. I'll come back. And this, of course, is the view from up top. So you can kind of see what would be a wave pool, wave maker, then a little fake beach and everything, and then all the water slides. There's probably 20 water slides in there. It's a lot, like they're all back to back and you see they're all colored and stuff. And here is where they used to have dolphins and then now I guess they have seals or sea lions. Um, but they have a big pirate ship, I'll show you more. But yeah, they have this like water and you can have a little like submarine ride underneath it. It's pretty cool. I mean, again, this is all in a mall you have to consider. Again, big open, you know, sky dome thing and you can obviously walk over the water and Little fake sky or uh, fake pirate ships. There you go, they're advertising the seal shows two and four, obviously not operating at the moment. Then a big pirate ship, which we'll see a little bit more of. The, uh, oh, look, there I am. Again, it used to be back here with dolphins back in the day, so it's pretty crazy. And then here's the ship, which is obviously really big and a big ship, which is pretty cool. And yeah, then again, all the water. Which if you look, they have like fake coral and all that stuff down there. It looks like the ocean. Treasure chests, pirates. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here's some oil worker monument of some sort. Hey everyone, good morning. Me and Scott back on the road, but for the last time. This is the end of our trip, man. Uh, I don't know, it was, uh, it was a good trip. It was really quick. We went by fast. Here I have something called cock and bull. Cock and bull. The diet ginger beer. Cock and bull. So it's pretty cool. If you guys are familiar with ginger beer, it's kind of like a ginger ale, but it's a lot more intense like stronger gingery flavors. 
This one almost has a bit of a creamy taste to it. It is diet. I don't promote drinking sugar sweetened beverages. But it's pretty dang good. It's uh, a lot of people drinking like Moscow mules and stuff. But I tell you what, I felt a little blocked up this morning and this feels like it's gonna make me run right. It's gonna make it makes it feel like something's gonna run right through me, I'll tell you that, but in a good way. In a good way, right? In the best way possible. <laughs> it's spicy though. Feel on the back of the throat. Alright, just get your head out of the gutter. Uh, so I don't know, man, dude. What do you think of the trip, Scott? What's what's up? Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, we've had a good solid ten days here, and uh, just finishing up our last challenge. Bittersweet, right? Yeah, it's like, it, it's been a while. Like it feels like it was a while. Like at the start, it was like, oh, this is gonna be a while. Yeah. But now it feels like it's flown by. And we got to see lots of cool places, like small towns that we've never seen before. Which was kind of cool, and yeah. uh, just hang out and have a good time. It's kind of cool about food challenges. Usually, you kind of get to see kind of places that you never would have gone before, or never would have normally stopped. Like we ended up in a place called Okotoks, for example. Yeah. Had an awesome time there. Never would have generally went to Okotoks, at least on our trip. Otherwise, we didn't have some plan there. Uh, you know, same thing pretty much all along the way. Black Falls. Yeah, Black Falls, Sylvan Lake. Sylvan Lake, Beaver Spruce Grove. Like yeah, Mountain. even, even on the, like that far, you know, west, right? Like, because we're in the run Edmonton. So it kind of all worked out. It's really, really cool. Um, overall summary of this tour, bigger than ever. Even bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah even bigger, bigger than... or bigger than ever. So out of our, like, I don't know, X amount of challenges, about like 70% of them, <laughs> or bigger than they've ever been before or came out bigger. Or advertised. Yeah, or bigger than advertised. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of unbeknownst to us, there was one time we asked for it to be a little bit bigger, which is fine, but the rest of the times, unbeknownst to us, they came out way bigger, or the people wanted them bigger. And I'm not, and I, I'm not saying it was like an intentional, you know, means per se. Not all of them. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and even if it was intentional, it wasn't out of, uh, you know, it wasn't to try to sabotage us or anything. It was just some people think bigger is better, and only it is sometimes, I guess you could say. But yeah, I don't know. That's kind of my overall thoughts. It worked really well. I'm very thankful for the people. Alberta, BC, that had us uh, all around here, supported us, met some really cool people, had some great experiences. Scott, any kind of closing words? No, I just uh, wanted to thank you for, uh, you know, doing this little trip. It was uh, great fun, and I look forward to doing more in the near future. Absolutely, guys. If you aren't familiar by now, all the kids are rolling to be a thousand videos of us together. Be sure to check out <laughs> Scott. Mr. Scott Eats there. Scott's a great guy, great eater, uh, great friend. Really appreciate it, my dude. Thank all you right. for Cheers. coming out, uh, having me out. Thank you for, obviously, help making this trip happen, I guess you could awesome. say. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Bigger than ever. There's so many of these challenges, like I said, they came up bigger than ever, but that's about it. Bigger than ever tour is pretty much come to an end. However, we have one more stop, and this is going to be bigger. Massive. Than ever. Boy, oh boy, we're in for something. Cock and bull. 